former PQ MA who now sits as an independent wants to strengthen the province's language laws. Pierre Curzi has proposed an overhaul of Bill 101, and the new charter of the French language is partly aimed at cracking down on English in Montreal. Maya Johnson reports. Pierre Curzi won't be running in the next provincial election, but before leaving politics, he's taking a stand on one of the most politically sensitive topics in the province language. After years of constitutional challenges, Curzi says Bill 101 is no longer strong enough, so he's introduced Bill 593, proposing a new charter of the French language. We want all the people to have a common language which is French, because it is a very important condition of the cohesion of a society. With a few exceptions, from daycare to CEGEP, francophones and allophones would be forced to go to school in French, private schools included. The former Pekist turned independent says English is becoming too commonplace in Montreal. If we don't do nothing, then we will be in a bilingual Montreal, and I don't think it is a good thing for nobody in Quebec. Under the proposed bill, employers would have to provide an explanation for posting a job requiring knowledge of a language other than French. As for commercial storefronts, a trade name in English would be tolerated, but a generic French term would have to be added. For example, Canadian Tire would become Les Magasins Généraux Canadian Tire. CAQ leader François Legault agrees the level of English in Montreal is worrisome. But he stopped short of supporting Curzi's proposal for a new Bill 101, saying the province's language watchdog already has enough power to protect French. I think that the office should be uh, more efficient in making sure that the actual uh, Bill 101 is correctly applied before adding to this uh, law. Meanwhile, the Premier insists the office is already doing its job. And we are going to continue to be very vigilant on the issue of the implementation of the law. Curzi insists the proposed bill would respect the rights of the English minority, but as a private member's bill, its chances for success are faint at best. Maya Johnson, CTV News, Quebec City.